video, we're going to show you how you can use lines in Google Maps. You've been practicing and using place marks, and we have dropped our place mark in our sample map onto Highlands Elementary. Um, if we have another destination that we want to go to, uh, for example, we want, let's say we want to head over to the community center, we want to go to the Dino football game. I'll take a pin, and I can add that place mark right at the Edina Community Center. We'll call this the football field. There we go. So now we have two place markers. We have one at Highlands and one over here at the football field. You're going to see another option here, which is draw a line. And you're going to see a small arrow to the right of that. There are a few different options for drawing lines. If I click that, you're going to see some options of draw a line, draw a line along roads, or draw a shape. Two most common ones are probably draw a line and draw a line along roads. If you're just trying to route your map somewhere and just show where you're going, um, draw a line is probably the most simple option. If I click that, I now am, have the option to draw a line connecting two points. I just click and I continue to drag that line. It's dotted now and when I click my last destination, I'm going to double click and that line is now connected and I can call it whatever I want to, just like I did with my place markers. Let's delete that line though. And if you're doing this as a assignment, the probably what you'll use this for is to drive to show driving routes. And if I choose line again, you're going to see the second line says draw a line along roads. I find this to be this feature to be pretty cool. Um, I do the same thing. I have clicked draw a line along the roads. I click my starting point. And now, oops, let me try that one more time. Now, as I'm, as I'm moving this cursor along, you're going to notice that line is automatically calculating where I'm going along the most efficient route that I would use to get there. You can see it's recalculating almost like a GPS would. And if I double click at my destination, that route is now calculated. It's placed as a line along roads on my map and the driving directions are included as a part of that line. So let's call this drive to the football field. And I can describe this however I would like just like I did when I was doing a place marker. And now I have directions. What this also does is it gives me the total driving distance and how long it would take. So if you're going deeper into your project and you'd like to figure out how many miles, how much gas you would use, how long your road would take, or how long your trip would take, um, this information is included along every route that you would draw. And that's how you use lines in maps.